Buffalo Soldier. You heard of him before. You know, we all thought we knew exactly everything there was to know about Buffalo Soldiers because Bob told us. Bob said that, you know, they are stolen from Africa, brought to America, fighting on arrival, fighting for survival. You know, uh, he was a dreadlock Rasta. And then again, he was a Buffalo Soldier. So, I mean, what else is there to know about the Buffalo Soldiers other than what, than what Bob has taught us through the ages? And, you know, they were Rastas. Somehow, they got wore, wore long hair in the military. I don't know what regulation allowed for that. Uh, there must have been a special Negro res regulation to allow for the Rastas to have, you know, long ass dreadlocks coming out, you know, ununiformed, nasty dreadlocks. I shouldn't say nasty dreadlocks, but sometimes, you know, they be unkempt. So, I guess that was just regulation back then. And they get, you know, of course, with, uh, I'm being facetious because you know that they ain't let no Rastas run around with no big old dreadlocks talking about, hey man. So I'm gonna show you some pictures of some Buffalo soldiers and we'll see if any of them have dreadlocks. So I might have to disagree with Bob. Some people may not know that Eddie Murphy was a Buffalo soldier. Here he is here. He's just joking, just joking. How did they get the name? I'm a little embarrassed to admit that the way I found out that they got their name was on my daughter's field trip to the Texas Cultural Museum where we ran across the Buffalo Soldier exhibit. And the tour guide decided at this point, unlike all the other places we had stopped and talked about, but this place she's going to focus in and talk to me. In which I felt a little awkward because I didn't want her to ask me no questions I ain't know no answers to because I was supposed to know the questions, you know, the answers. These questions for the Buffalo Soldiers. Uh, everybody knows at this field trip that I'm an ex-soldier, a, a veteran, and uh, so of course a, a military army soldier would know all, you know, a black military army soldier would know everything about the Buffalo Soldiers. I mean, I learned it from Bob. They were rosters, they smoked weed, they, uh, they were stolen from Africa, brought to America, they fought on arrival, and they fought for survival. That's what I do. So, the lady asked me, do you know why they were called Buffalo Soldiers? And I was like, dang, why she asked me a question I don't know the answer to? And so I kind of was like, uh, well, I was reading over there, it said there was Buffalo in the area that they was at, so probably because there was Buffalo in the area. And she was like, no, no, no silly man. No silly Negro. The reason is because of the curly, kinky hair. That is why they called them Buffalo Soldiers. And I was like, dang. I, it, I was like, wow. I wasn't sure if I should be offended or be offended. <laughs> because I never heard that before. I never even knew that was the reason they was called Buffalo Soldiers. Because they look like Buffalo. But I got home. And looked it up, and yeah, she was right. They were scared of the black soldiers. They were, and they felt like they were fierce, like buffaloes. They had the color of a buffalo. Their their uh, hair was curly like a buffalo. Their skin color was brown like the buffalo, and they were fierce like the buffalo. So I was like, I guess that's not necessarily a bad comparison. I've been called worse than a buffalo. As a matter of fact, I'll take buffalo over a lot of things I've been called. So the buffalo soldiers were a cavalry unit, and that basically means they were on horseback. Uh, today's cavalry units are mechanized tanks and uh, armored vehicles. The buffalo soldiers, they mainly dealt with fighting Indians and Mexicans who were considered villains or uh, aggressive uh, towards the United States of America. The Buffalo Soldiers quickly earned their respect and were known as fierce fighters on the battlefield. Of course, we discussed this in their name, but they were called to action on several occasions and performed quite well. And the Buffalo Soldiers were noted for their courage and discipline. Uh, they had a big problem with drinking with the white uh, enlisted soldiers and desertion. Uh, this was a very rare part problem amongst the uh, Buffalo Soldiers and it was noted by many uh, sources that I looked at as preparing for this video. Can you imagine being raised a slave and then turn around and now you're fighting for you know, the oppressor? It had to be a very 
weird thing, but many of the soldiers who were Buffalo soldiers did it to take care of their families. They got paid very well. The Buffalo soldiers were in approximately 200 major and minor engagements in approximately 30 years. They received in total 14 medals of honor, which is the highest award that can be given. The contributions these soldiers made to the United States of America definitely shouldn't go unrecognized. They gave themselves at a time when, why would you give yourself? You know, most people thought that black men didn't have the mental capacity to, to fight or be a good soldier. They'll desert or, you know, untrustworthy, uh, won't be able to, they can't hold a gun or they're dumb. What, whatever they could say, they just didn't want them fighting because that was considered an honor to fight. Uh, people believe that black men weren't disciplined enough and didn't have the courage. Uh, but these Buffalo soldiers, man, they proved those stereotypes wrong. They fought valiantly for several, several years. Buffalo soldiers, here you have it. Let's not let these gentlemen's memory fade and ensure our next generation knows of their sacrifices that they paid on the battlefields for our benefit. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Hope you enjoyed it, learned a little something, or your memory was refreshed. 